Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about Salesforce Lightning Process Builder and Visual Workflow. So before getting into any of the details of the Lightning Process Builder or Visual Force, we are going to go ahead and create a developer account. So we need a developer edition to do our practice. So in order to create a developer account, it's going to be a free developers account. You do not have to pay for it. And also there is no expiration date. You have Salesforce has given this developer account for you to practice. So the first thing is in order to create a developers account, go to this website called HTTPS developer.salesforce.com. So when I go here, go to your browser and type in developer.salesforce.com. Once you have done that, on the top right hand side, you will see the login button and the sign up. So click on this sign up button here. And once you click on the sign up, you're going to see this form that you have to submit. So here you're going to provide your information. And uh, let's say I'm going to go ahead and provide my email address here. And then the company name, you can provide any company name here. And then the postal code, let's say this is the postal code I'm going to use. And then you're going to provide the username. So the username has to be in an email format. It does not have to be a valid email address, but it has to be in a email format. The email address which you have provided here will be the one which will be used by the Salesforce to set up your password or to send up a link for the password to the email. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and the username for this account is since you are learning about lightning process builder and visual workflow, I've created this username and then I'm going to go ahead and click on this checkbox and basically by clicking on the checkbox you are confirming that you have read and agreed to the terms of conditions of the Salesforce. Now once you have provided all the detail let's go ahead and hit the sign me up button. Now once you hit the sign me up button in couple seconds you must receive an email from the Salesforce as you can see here developer at salesforce.com and click on that email and it will take you to this particular screen here and here you're going to give a button here which will ask you to verify your account so go ahead and click on this button here to verify the account it will take you to the salesforce screen and it will ask you to set up your password so since this is our first time to set up this password so we're going to provide a new password here so let's say the password i'm going to set up and then you can set up your own password here but make sure you remember and then go ahead and hit the change password button. So this way you have set up your username and you have set up your password. Now the next thing is, as you can see here, this is like a lightning screen. So you can go ahead and switch back to the classic screen, uh, screen here. So you can go ahead and click on your this profile picture that you see on the top right hand side click on that and then this pop-up message or this drop box will appear and here you will see a link to switch to salesforce classic so go ahead and click on that link here switch to salesforce classic and this is going to take you to the developer screen so we have created our salesforce developers account and whenever you have to log into this particular account, you just have to go to login.salesforce.com and here you can provide your username and password. So let's say username we have set up was lightning at mytutorialrack.com and then whatever the password, provide the password here and then go ahead and click on the login button. So every time you have to log into Salesforce, you're going to go ahead and use this login.salesforce.com and then you're going to provide your username and your password that you have set and this should take you to the back to the screen. You can go ahead and welcome to the improved setup and all that. Go ahead and click on this no thanks. So this is your developer's account. 
Now in the next tutorial we are going to go ahead and talk about the evolution of our visual workflow and uh, so I will see you in the next tutorial. Please follow this tutorial so by the next tutorial you have your Salesforce developer account ready to go and ready to create and do some exercises and examples. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.